Electronic Curriculum Unit Development using MathCAD Prime 1.0 and Microsoft OneNote is brought to you by the PTC Academic Program. Learn, Create, Collaborate, Succeed. I am looking at a MathCAD Prime worksheet, Lesson 1, using patterns to model problems with an equation. I created this lesson as an introductory activity for a unit teaching middle school students basic concepts of equation solving. In the classroom, I can project this worksheet and use it as the basis for a conceptual conversation. Today I want to talk about how I can print MathCAD worksheets like this to Microsoft OneNote. By printing my MathCAD worksheets to OneNote, I create the electronic equivalent of a through-ring binder organizer for math class. As you will see, a collection of MathCAD worksheets on a single topic in OneNote can serve as a replacement for a printed unit or textbook. Now I am looking at Microsoft OneNote 2010, a dynamically searchable notebooking tool that I use to record and organize my curriculum materials. In OneNote, I have a notebook section group called Pre-Algebra, and for today's demonstration, I have a new section within it called Unit 1. We are currently looking at a page in the unit called Unit Plan. Since I am just getting started, I have listed some content goals. In this demo, we will add both the Lesson 1 worksheet and a quiz paper to the Unit 1 notebook in order to illustrate how easy it is to create an electronic curriculum unit using MathCAD Prime and OneNote. We are once again looking at the Lesson 1 MathCAD Prime worksheet. For the moment, let's assume I know my students can understand all of the arithmetic on the page. In this lesson, I want my students to think about the slowly developing solution presented in order to motivate them to identify and generalize a pattern that can be used to create a more efficient strategy. As they complete this work, we can discuss as a class the concept of how variables work and how equations can be used as models for problems. In preparing for class, I want to capture the Lesson 1 worksheet in my pre-algebra notebook. To do this, I will print the worksheet directly to OneNote 2010. The first step is to click on the MathCAD Prime icon in the top left corner and select Print from the Print menu, from the menu. Next, we want to select Send to OneNote 2010 as the printer. So I'm going to right arrow over find send to OneNote 2010 and then click print. OneNote 2010 opens and asks me to select the location in OneNote where I'd like this worksheet to appear. I want to collect, select the correct location. It's showing at the top here as a recent pick but if I had to go search for it in my notebooks, all of my notebooks are listed here. My pre-algebra one is open and I want to put it in Unit 1. So I will select down here for the moment and click OK. And then the worksheet appears in OneNote as an untitled page. I want to add a title. So I'll type Lesson 1, which appears over here in the navigation on the right. Then when I go down here, this is now appearing as an image. And what I want to do is installed as the background. So I'm going to right click and I get a menu of options um, and what I want in this case is to set the picture as a background. Now it's no longer a picture that I can select it's now the background for the page. Once I've done this I have the capability of annotating the worksheet by typing text or using a pen interface on a smart board or a tablet PC. For example, at the top of the page I could go to the insert menu and insert the date. If I want to highlight parts of the page I can go to the draw menu, select a highlighter, and then highlight certain elements so that the students can pay attention to specific things that are important to developing their understanding. I can also go back to the Select and Type tool, 
slide down to the bottom and type their answers to their conceptual questions as they occur. Hopeful thinking perhaps, but maybe they'll get the idea that we're using variation to construct a model. To review the page printing process, I will now add a second page to the notebook. This time, I will add a quiz that I have created in MathCAD Prime. Returning to Prime, I will click on the tab for the quiz and follow the steps of printing to the correct location in OneNote. Go to the Prime menu, click Print, choose Send to OneNote 2010 as the printer, click the Print button, and then since I'm printing again to the same location, I can use that recent pick, click OK, and then add a title, Quiz 1, that shows up in my navigation as well. Next, I'm going to set this as the background, so it's once again the background for the page. And now, I can add a copy of the electronic MathCAD file to this page as well. Perhaps I want my students to be able to work either in the notebook or in MathCAD Prime using MathCAD's numeric solving capabilities. Go to the Insert menu, attach a file, searching in my folder, which pops up conveniently, Quiz 1, Insert, and then I get a nice icon here or the file which I can stick up in the top right corner for quiz one. Now if I share this with my students they can complete the quiz electronically in OneNote or electronically in Prime depending on whether or not I want them to use numerical solving capabilities in taking this quiz. Using these simple steps I can build my electronic curriculum unit piece by piece employing MathCAD's easy-to-use mathematical editing capabilities and OneNote strengths as a notebooking tool. For more information about MathCAD Prime 1.0, visit the MathCAD page on ptc.com, friend MathCAD on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter at MathCAD Academic, and you can email us at mathcadeducation at ptc.com.